Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my go-to bronze look. I use this for daytime, nighttime, so if you want to see how I get that look, keep watching. In this video, I do start off with my foundation already done. I will link the video I did before where you can see my full foundation routine. I do do a contour routine again, but this one talk through. If you want to skip, I will put the time that you can skip to to see the eye look. For this video, I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I start off by highlighting with the shade Banana. So I put that on all the high points of my face, my cheeks, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. Then with a damp beauty sponge, I blend that all out. For contour, I'm going in with the shade Light Sculpt from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I'm putting that in the hollows of my cheek, on the edge of my forehead, on my jawline and then later we'll use it to contour my nose also. And then with the same sponge, I blend, 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 blend it all out. This part is super important, blending. You don't want any harsh lines at all. With that same shade, Light Sculpt, I'm gonna contour my nose with a concealer brush and then blend it all out with the beauty sponge. I'm gonna set that nose contour using my bronzer and a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Then I set the contour on my forehead, my jawline, and also put some bronzer around my mouth. For the hollows of my cheek, I really do like a strong contour, so I use that same bronzer and um, I build it up. I don't like to pack on a lot and then have to blend it out. I like to be able to just build it up slowly to the shade I want. So after I use that first bronzer, I like to go in with Makeup Studios Blusher Lumiere in the shade Bizarre Bronze, and I just put that also everywhere where I'd contoured. For blush, I use Makeup Studios Blush Lumiere in True Terra. It's my favorite because it's a bit pinky, but mostly like a bronzy, glittery color. For my highlight, I start off by using a liquid highlighter, and this one is from Amelia Knight. It's the Bronze Shimmer Cream, and I place that on the high points of my face, so my cheeks, my temples, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. The first powder highlighter I use is from MAC. It's the Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter in the shade Global Glow, and I place that on the outside areas of where I placed the liquid highlighter. Only on my cheeks though, because it's a bit too metallic to use on my nose. Then I go in with Top Shop's highlighter, and this one is in the shade Sunbeam, and I put that everywhere. Literally, I love this highlighter, I use it on everywhere. So I place it on the higher areas of my cheeks and my temples, and then down the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Lastly, I use this eyeshadow from Bourjois Paris. Um, I'll link it in the description box because I don't really know how to pronounce the line it comes from. So I put that where I put the Top Shop highlighter. I 
I start off by priming my eyes with Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in Sin. It is a shimmer based um, primer so it's perfect for this look because we are going for a very glittery lid. So I love using this on the lid for glitter looks. I start off in the crease using this brown, lightish, grayish brown color using the brush that comes with the Naked palette on the blending brush side just to build up to the density of that color that I want. Then on top of that I go in with this maroonish dark brown burgundy color and then again just building it up to the shade that I want making sure there's no harsh lines and don't forget I keep a cotton pad with me so every time I go in with a new color I just swipe around to get the last color out of the brush and the higher you pull up the color the lighter you brush so make sure you're not pressing as hard the higher above the crease that you go then with a the fluffy um, eyeshadow brush I'm just going above that shade and on the bottom of my crease with my favorite bronzer then I take the shade Half Baked from the Naked 2 palette and I place that on my lid, but not on my full lid, just like a small line from my lash line above, so half of my lid. Just pack that on. Pack, 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 pack. Then I take the shade Snake Bite from the Naked 2 palette and I place it on my outer lid and the inner corners of my eyes. Again, don't forget to swipe your brush on the cotton pad to get out the last color that you used. Then I go back in with that fluffy eyeshadow brush and my bronzer to make sure that that gold eyeshadow is blended out. We don't want any harsh lines. Then I go back in to the crease with that burgundy brownish shimmer color from the Maybelline Nudes palette in the crease, just building up the color to the darkness that I like it to be. So if you don't like it as dark, you don't have to do it. It also helps blend out that bronzer that we put in. Remember, no harsh lines. Ooh, I said finally, but it wasn't finally. Finally though, I go in with the shade Foxy from the Naked Zoo palette in the arc of my brow just to connect that shade from my crease and upper crease. Blend it out nicely, make sure it's all smooth and looking good. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so for the lips, I start off by lining my lips with my all-time, all-time favorite lip liner from Kiko Makeup. It's the Smart Lip Pencil in the number 704. I love, 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 love this lip liner because it's a nude but a pink and coral at the same time. It's amazing. Then I fill in my lips with the Kiko Smart Pencil in the shade 700. But I do have a tip, if you want to overline your lips, which is what I usually do, just pout a little bit, it'll help you get the correct shape without it looking awkward. Then I fill in my lips with a MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Kinda Sexy. Then for finishing touches, I put in this lip gloss, it's a nude shiny lip gloss, but like, the brand has faded off, so I don't know what it is, but I will look for dupes online and then put it in the description box. And that is it. As you can see, I finally got my settings and my lighting right on my camera so you can see how it really is a bronze look. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.